is now, <clears throat> this is question six from the SAT number 13. And right, let's go ahead, let's hop in. So six says, according to the passage, one point of disagreement between Chartkoff and his professor concerns whether something. Um, and then we have to choose our answer here. So this one doesn't have any text, there's no lines reference. So the way to solve this one is to go back to the passage. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the text that can answer this question. So we're gonna look for anything that talks about a point of disagreement between Chartkoff and his professor. And we're gonna use the question order rule for this one. So we see how in lines five, we have, or in question five, we have lines 11, 14, and 18 mentioned with the last one being 18. And then in question six, we have this last line, line 50 mentioned. So we don't know for sure, but it's pretty plausible that between lines 18 and 50, we're gonna be able to find the text that will tell us about this point of disagreement. So let's hop in and look at that. So we could just sort of scan through things here. Um, this is starting at line 28. We just keep scanning, keep scanning, keep scanning. Um, and eventually we should be able to notice this. You know, something he did not agree with the professor. Um, and honestly, you can either get this through memory, um, you can get this through scanning, just looking for the word agree or disagree. Um, you don't really know if those exact words are going to be in there, so you might have to do, um, it might be a little bit hard at first to find it. Um, but in this case, we get lucky, it says he did not agree. And let's see what it says. It says he already saw something in them. These are the ancient pictures. Though in private, he did not agree with the professor that the secrets of the old masters are irremediably lost to us. It seemed to him that the 19th century had improved upon them considerably. Okay, so here's what he says. Basically, he's, he doesn't agree with the professor that um, all the secrets of the old masters or the abilities or the skills that they had are irremediably, that means forever lost to us. Um, he actually thinks that those in the 19th century who came after actually improved upon them. So he disagrees with them there. So let's go to our answer choices. And A says, making money from selling paintings destroys artistic integrity. Um, this one might catch a few students because that's sort of like the vague essence or the vague idea of the passage that making money from selling paintings destroys artistic integrity. At least there's that that conflict in the passage where um, the, mayor, or the author or Tarkov has to decide, does he want to make money or does he want to preserve his artistic integrity? That's the conflict. The issue is that we don't have a strong text to support this. Um, and even though it's suggestively right, um, it, we don't have strong enough evidence, right? It seems true that probably the professor would think that making money would destroy artistic integrity and maybe Tarkov thinks so as well. Although he's kind of questioning it the whole way the end, end point is that we just don't know for sure. And there's no text for this. So we can get rid of that one. B says, fashionable artists are capable of making enough money from their art to support themselves. Um, this is actually something that both people would agree with. Um, basically the professor early on talks about fashionable artists um, and how they're able to make money. And so does Chartkoff later on talking about how they're, um, the wealth that they're able to get. So it's not something they would disagree with. This is probably something we both agree with. Um, beyond that, we just don't really have a text to support that one. Then we have C. C says 19th century painters have been able to expand on the insights of the old masters. Now, this pretty much talks exactly what our text was, was about, which is 19th century paintings, improving on the insights of the old masters. That's what it says here. It seemed to him that the 19th century had improved upon them considerably. Um, so this is a good option. Probably our answer. Let's keep going. D says non-professional partners are capable of producing serious artworks. Um, non-professional painters are capable of producing serious artworks. Um, this is another answer choice that we don't really have evidence for. Nowhere in the past this is talk about uh, non-professional painters and um, whether or not they're able to produce serious artworks um, and no specific text we found. So we get rid of D and that leaves us with C, which is choose the reference.